For the last several years, Christine Yvette has made a living playing different gigs around town. She'll tell you life was good, but then COVID hit. We had so many gigs, you know, last year that got canceled. So it was a huge income loss for a lot of us. And not just for musicians like Yvette. Sound techs and event coordinators, among others, fell on hard times too. That's where Max Reese comes in. When I heard about people being food challenged and knowing my friends that were totally dependent on playing nights, I began to worry. The 67-year-old retired band director started the Portland Musicians Relief Fund to, to help those struggling. It's my community, so I, it was my way to at least try to do something to make me feel like I was helping. So far, Reese's GoFundMe has raised more than $5,000. A small piece of that went to Christine Yvette. In the moment, what has been. Max was so gracious. He was like, you know, hey, I'm going to help you with this. And I was like, oh, thank you. I mean, it, it was just, it was heaven sent. But you're still the same. Yvette is also thankful for the loosening of restrictions around town. 50% occupancy at bars and restaurants in Multnomah, Washington, and Clackamas counties is allowing Yvette to book gigs again. By no means is her calendar full like it was pre-pandemic, but for the first time in a long time, there's hope. Yeah, we're excited to get back at it. And just all the musicians I know, they're all, just, we all feel the same way. Both Christine Yvette and Max Reese believe it'll be another year before musicians are performing on a regular basis. So if you'd like to contribute to the Portland Musicians Relief Fund, you can find a link to the GoFundMe on our website, kgw.com. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.